Mr. Malcolm, Middlesex, London. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. Last week, Minister, you belittled the hard-working correctional officers at the Elgin Middlesex Detention Centre. You continue to say that safety of correctional officers and inmates is your top priority. However, you knew overcrowding was an issue, and yet many cells are still occupied beyond capacity. You knew the meal hatches were a problem last year, and you haven't done anything about it. You knew that staff didn't have adequate fire-related equipment, but you, you did not procure anything better. You say safety is your top priority. Why should we believe you now? Yep. Indeed, uh, Monsieur Speaker, the member of the uh, official opposition is right, ensuring the safety and security of our staff and our inmate is my number one priority. Yes, so last week, I met with uh, many representatives of OPSU, uh, including the leadership at EMDC, and the meeting was very productive very productive and I was happy to hear firsthand from the union about uh, the concerns, their concerns. We have expedited some security features for the end of June and we will continue the dialogue with the union and a meeting regularly with uh, the staff yes, of the ministry and my ministry and we're all very engaged in uh, finding a great solution for EMDC. Nope. Thank you very much. Thank you, supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the Minister. Minister, that meeting should have occurred two years ago yeah, when yeah. I first told you of these problems. <laughs> Minister, last Thursday the jail was locked down while staff tried to recover metal pieces that went missing following the fires last Tuesday night. Every time the jail is locked down, it creates residual problems. Lawyers can't consult with inmates and as a result must delay court proceedings. This creates cost to taxpayers, burdens an over overly already burdened backlog court system, and delays sentences for offenders. Minister, the problems you've ignored at EMDC are now spilling over into other ministries. We admit you're not up to the task to do the job and resign. Thank you. Minister? Again, Mr. Speaker, uh, the uh, health and safety and the uh, uh, security of both the inmate and the uh, workers, the correctional uh, officer uh, at EMDC are my number one priori priority. But one thing was clear when I met with the union. They said, you know what, you're stuck with a problem which they on the other side have started. So it's not coming from me, it's coming from the union. They were very, very clear. You know, the overcrowding, because there was no plan to expand the facilities and to have more facility built. What they have done, they took every space that were used for programming to put the cells in it. So we have, a solu we have solutions. We, have, uh, we are building two new facilities. One will uh, open pretty soon and the other one is in Windsor. And we will continue to renew our infrastructure in Thank that you. ministry. Thank you. New question. The member from Trinity.